mentioned before in one of my videos, I do not use that much makeup. Mascara, lipstick, and eyeliner, I'm good. Tonight we are going out. We are going to a brewer for beer testing. And my cousin is downstairs. My husband is, you, you know, behind the camera. <laughs> so we are going out tonight. And you all know, besides the putting your makeup, and you see I put in my makeup. But besides you make good and putting your clothes on and try to look good to go out, the next, oh, let me just give you a turn around. That way you can let me know. How do I look tonight? But beside your clothes, beside your makeup, you try to look good. The next most important thing for you to be smelling good all night, your perfume. That is something that when you go out, you can never, never forget. This is like this rule number one to go out. Smell good. And this video is sponsored by last year. They are an Italian company and they make perfume. Uh, inspired by famous or popular brand let's say this way and this one is inspired by Chanel number five and what is good about their perfume is the first thing is because when you want to buy something you want to buy something good it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the price because when you want something good you pay anything whatever price but the good things about these fragrances is that they smell good all night and not just all night you can go a few days after, smell your clothes, and it will be smelling like the fragrances, whatever fragrance you use. The next best thing is their prices. Their prices are very, let's say not that expensive. Let's not say cheap or affordable. They are not that expensive. You can find $29.99, $49.99, depending on the fragrances they have or if it is very popular. So right now, I am ready, and we are about to go out to take some beer, and you all gonna go with me. So before we go out, remember this video is sponsored by that year, and the name of the fragrances that I'm using tonight is Flora at the Highs. Forgive me if I'm saying it the last part or wrong, but again, this one is inspired by Chanel number no. five, and I will leave the description down below, that way you can visit the website, dasier.co. So, let's go. We are already here at the brewer. The name is La Cacata. And it's located here in the colonial zone, so La Colonial. And for those that do not know what Cacata is, Cacata for us is like a spider. It's a black, dark spider. <laughs> what they have the sampler, they have the sampler is four beers. And they don't have the name, but she will explain when she come back here. She say, I don't have the name, but I'm here. I will explain. So we're going to let her explain. Oh, they are already here. I guess I wasn't know I was sampling. But yeah, they have four people samplers, and it's 250 pesos. We ordered three samplers. And when they get here, we want to explain to you what they are. Cacao. Cacao. Okay, okay. Cacao. Okay. Sabe poquito café, pero no contiene cacao. Okay. La tercera es la rapper, es una rubia con corona. Y mandarina. Y la última es la chinola. Chinola es muy buena. Y la primera, ¿cuál era? La col. Es una rubia tipo alemana. La orden. ¿Y quién es una rubia tipo alemana? Como yo. So right now we have the samplers. And remember, this video is sponsored by that year. That year. One of the best things that come to my, came to my life. <laughs> so right here, we have our samplers. And the way she explained this one is, tastes like um, a grapefruit. This one is cacao, tangerine, and passion fruit. And 
I know that you know my cousin. She's Melda. She's here texting with me. So we're gonna try this beer to see how they like. I'm gonna start with it. What? I love passion fruit, so let's start with the passion fruit. Esta es. Esta es la de chinola. ¿Cómo sabe, Pati? Es buena. It tastes like passion fruit. The only thing I think is that they need too little beer. I mean, don't you think it's just too little? It should be some more. ¿Tú no piensas que te tienen como muy poquito? Muy poquito. She wanna try all of them. She's trying toronja. ¿Sabe a toronja? Sí. ¿Está buena o no? Esta es de... She think it's good, the toronja. Esta es de cacao. Bueno, they say cacao. Cacao is... It should be like cocoa. But she said it tastes like coffee. So let me see. Esta es la alemana. No, it's still like cocoa to me, it's still like cocoa. But yeah, it, it, at the end it's like some coffee flavor, yeah, she's right. Like the tar, like the um, taste of the coffee, like the, when you have those uh, strong coffee, you know, sugar, it tastes like that. ¿Y qué tú piensas de la alemana? Esta es la más fuerte, ya que sabe. Salud. It really tastes like tangerine. It tastes good. So they all taste like they say would taste. This one tastes like tangerine, so it's, it's really good. She likes better the uh, passion fruit and the uh, grapefruit. To me, I like better the tangerine is pretty good. La rubia pretty good and I like the passion fruit I don't like the, 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 the cocoa flavor to the less that I like is the one that is grapefruit that one I like too much but they are really good I just still think that they give us too little I remember this video is sponsored by that year remember to go and check the website they have so many different fragrances inspired by these so many different uh brand name uh, perfume remember and also christmas is coming up so now is the time that you need to start thinking it's okay what is the best way i'm happy you out here so look at it this way i'm happy you to choose a good gift for your friend your mother uh your co-worker anybody that you want to give it a good gift that's the end So as you can see, I already finished my four samples and they have two more that is what is temporary. It's just for the season. And this one is the Habit Mango. And this one is the entire cup. It's not like sampling. So they have two more. This one is mango and then they have the other flavor coming after we finish this one. But right now I'm gonna try this mango. taste like mango. So this is the second time that I've been in Santa Colonia at night and I think it's a very good atmosphere here in Santa Colonia at night. Uh, at first I used to think Santa Colonia, well when I used to come at uh, earlier time like in the morning, afternoon, it's like a, to a lot of tourists around it. And I said you know I don't like too much go to tourist area uh, and my husband either. We like to do local things. So in the morning or afternoon, we used to see a lot of tourists who didn't come here often. But now that we have here for the second time, I think there is a good atmosphere. There is a lot of local people that come here at night in Zona Colonial. And it's a very good area. And this is the reason that I didn't like to come to be here in Zona Colonial because of the tourists. But my cousin have a lot another reason that she was saying earlier why she likes to come to Sona Colonia. So I'm gonna ask her why she likes Sona Colonia. So primera te voy a traer que tú me estabas diciendo por qué a ti te gusta la zona colonia. Ah, okay. Pero por qué? Por el ambiente, los locales, la música, las personas. 
So the reason that why she likes Zona Coloniale is because the atmosphere. She also likes the the what you can say the essence of Zona Colonial because it's history. It's, it's a different type of people that come over here. And you can have fun over here and a lot of people come to the same reason to have fun at night. And um, the structure, the people, the area, it's like bring something uh, because it's our history and our, our culture. That's the reason she like it. I used to come because of the reason that I say, but she like it because of the reason. So I guess that I, I like it a little bit more now, just because I have my experience the second time I see this uh, area to come at night. And as we was driving over here, I was starting to see some different things like bar, restaurant, that I like it. I like it because I see just regular people just they live in this area, just enjoying the day or the night the afternoon so I'm seeing some different things in here in Zona Colonia that I like it and now I know that I'm talking too much but don't, don't like forget about last year go and check the website finally my cousin will got here I mean they take it so long and my husband Drago he's not such a bitter guy he took the first sample but then he say that's for you <laughs> I'm gonna do a trago. So he have a wrong trago. And we have the beers. This one is a mango beer, so it is really good. So guys, as you can see, we already have some nachos, we have something to eat. I didn't talk about it, but they were really good. You stop when they came here. But if you're really looking for some place where to have a good time and have some beer tasting, this is a good place with a good atmosphere. And they don't, I would say that they have a lot of variety, but at least they have these six different flavors that you can taste if you like beers. So this is a nice place to come. This video is sponsored by that year. So go and check the website. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!